doesn't hunt with a trusty <laughs> flintlock in spring turkey? Yeah. All right, it is the Wednesday morning of the second week of the PA turkey season. I'm over at my good buddy Schweitzer's house. It is about 10 after four in the morning. It is getting daylight pretty quick. And I roosted some birds last night. I watched them go up over the hill and we're gonna, uh, <clears throat> I know where they wanna come into this field, this newly uh, plowed field. So we're gonna kind of set up and get some decoys out and do some calling. But I'm over here to pick up my good buddy Schweitzer who's gonna be filming for me. But also if hunting turkeys in the uh, second week of the uh, turkey season didn't start to get a little bit tougher, we're gonna make it a little bit harder and uh, I'll let Schweitzer tell you what I'm going to be shooting today. What's up, buddy? Good morning, Jason. <laughs> I hope you're ready for this. I don't know. Well, you might as well learn how to load this thing since you will be the shooter today. Yeah. And this is a Thompson Center Renegade. And that's the only thing these barrels will fit on. It's a 20 gauge with a full choke on it. And it's regular for six shot. And this would be how we will load it. And here is 90 grains of powder. So that's first. That's first. We get a lot of questions on this, so we figured we'd show everybody how we do this. You put the 90 grains in, and if you're anything to do with the muzzler, you always tap that so your powder is perfectly level. Then there's a cardboard disc that would be the next thing in, and you gotta kinda get it started a little funny here. Just like that, and you will take this, and once it gets going down in there, it will straighten itself out. Now that will hold the powder down in. This here is just to take a little bit of the kick out, because surprisingly enough, this does kick a fair amount. So this is the cushion in between the powder and the BBs. And this is two ounces, I think it's six shot, which you could probably shoot anything. This is six shot. And I'm not a big ballistics guy, but my buddy that helped me set this up says this has the same velocity as a three and a half inch magnum. It's a, this is a 20 gauge. That's kind of impressive actually. And the reason that is, I think what he told me, is because everything's so long. So you get to that, now you need two of these thin cardboard discs. You get it started in there. And this is to hold the BBs from falling out the, the barrel. You put one in. This is kind of like a Safety valve, I guess you would say. And that is it. Like I say, it's ready to go. All you need now is the pan powder, and you are fired up. And this ought to be good. This should go off today because we've got a brand new load and everything's cleaned up because I've alcoholed everything, so no excuses. And we, uh, we had a goal for two years to shoot one. He shot one last year with this flintlock, but we didn't get it on video. Yep, yep, yep. And then last week, we got you shooting one. Yep. And, and we, we have that video out, so if you haven't seen that video, you shot a Jake, which was an awesome hunt. Yeah, but always we, fun or fun. We went in, but I, I roosted a long beard last night, so I'm hoping that, yeah. that he comes up over the hill. So. I hope a Jake comes in first, see if I can talk him in. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. No, it's long beard or bust, <laughs> but anyway, but we're gonna get going. It's been, it's been a heck of a season so yeah. far. My son shot one, my daughter shot one, you shot one. We took eight-year-old Joshua Josh out. One. Yeah, so now I finally, I guess I finally I guess get to Yeah, yeah. 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 we'll see. Yeah. yeah, but now I'm looking forward to it, so. All right. Hopefully the gun goes off. Yes. It's up to the flintlock gods now, so. <laughs> Morning. It was a beautiful day. I was on a hunt with my son yesterday. He shot a great bird. Um, we're on a spot. I don't know how it's gonna go. We're just nestled into some honeysuckle bushes and I watched birds last night I was out looking and I watched two or three long beards go up over the hill and they like to uh there's a mowed path right here on the the border 
There's a mowed path that goes out to these fields and they like to come across this big field and come out right here. So I'm in between them and where they want to go. Slam dunk, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see, but they're gobbling pretty good already. saw these birds go over the hill last night. We have a full strutter and at least one hen working their way this way, so keep my fingers crossed. I'm just gonna call a little bit here and there. They're about, what, slice of 300 yards? The hen's to his left. Or to our left. about where I saw him go up over last night. Should get here about noon. Put some pan powder in sight. Longer is kind of coming straight at us. <laughs> nice job, buddy. Nice job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd run out there and stand on him quick. Oh, if man. Can. I can't move, buddy.
Nice. Nice. How big is he? He's a good one. Oh, got some hooks. Atta boy. <laughs> he was leaving. Yeah. That was a little different for me in that flintlock. I couldn't find him through that little hole. I was like, where is he? All right. Oh my God, 50 and I was beyond excited. So how cool was that hunt? Just watch that bird come from how far away, Swites? Three, 400 yards? Three, 400 yards across this field called just a little, you know, I, I scouted last night. I saw these birds going on the top. I knew they wanted to come to this field and man, he came on a beeline and he you saw him, he came to the decoy. He got a little goofy then, huh? Yeah, yeah, come over here, Swites. Yeah, and he, you know, well, you get on the high side of me. Why is that? You're just a short <laughs> little guy. But anyway, what a freaking hunt we had. And I got to show you something on this bird. Can you hold his I, hooks up for I me? Will. Look at that Look at joker the hooks on right it. there. Good grief. <laughs> yes. Hooks. So not only was it a flintlock muzzle litter hunt, it's a dandy bird, man. Oh, man. Thank you, thank you for letting me use your oh, flintlock, you're welcome, buddy. buddy. Oh my gosh, we're gonna hug it up here. Yeah. But no, we've been trying to kill. And Schweitzer killed a, a Jake on film. When was it? Monday. Monday. So that was our first one. Like, and then Schweitzer, there was two Jakes he saw coming in. He's, I was like, no. We said the next one <laughs> was gonna was gonna be a long beard. And I waited. And you saw him. He got goofy. He did. He did. And you know, I'm shooting. I'm left-handed. But fortunately, I grew up, my dad had a right-handed muzzleloader, so I had some experience with it, and that's what Schweitzer had. Well, obviously, I held it, because oh. it was about a 35, 40-yard shot, and... It polarized It did. Yeah. Hey. Good job, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It never gets old. It oh, never yeah. gets old. So. Well, <laughs> this has certainly done the job this year, turkey number two. Who doesn't hunt with a trusty <laughs> flintlock in spring turkey? Yeah. All right, buddy. That's what you get for shooting the big one. Oh. You're hanging it, buddy. He's getting Tommy John elbow. High five. Do him. Do him. What a year, huh? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me. We'll throw it on the. Oh, I might have to get it. It's pretty hard to get. Let me try. Hi. Oh. What do you think? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh! Look at the spurs on that and Joshy. Check that out, buddy. Yeah, they look bigger. Yeah, I think the spurs are a little bigger, but I think you're, you're, 